Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well and staying safe. If you are new here, welcome, my name is Rana. So the past week has just been really, really busy. I was not able to film uh, you know, a second video for you guys last week, but I am back with a current favorites video for you guys today. So basically, you know, sharing my current favorite planner supplies, what I'm loving, what I'm reaching for uh, a lot more. So if you would like to see what those supplies are, I hope that you would consider sticking around and subscribing. So without further ado, let's get started. So as always, shop names will be linked in the description box below for you guys. So let's get started with the first item, and that is these circle page uh, flags from Cloth and Paper. Now, I don't know if they still have, you know, this uh, palette over here. This one is palette volume 02. Uh, so they are transparent, which is really nice. So I use them as just, you know, regular sticky notes for reminders. And I also use them as tabs. So I'll just show you over here. So, you know, if you take a look throughout my planner, you will see them being used throughout. Uh, like I said, I do use them as reminders in my planner. I also use them as... Um, as tabs. So this tells me over here when I see this tab that there's something that I need to do on that specific insert. So over here, I basically have a little note for myself that I need to reprint uh, this specific insert and update it. So um, that's what I love about these is that you do have some space uh, for writing if you need to write yourself a little reminder. Absolutely love these. I love that they come in different colors so that you can color code if you like. Um, absolutely love these and I can't wait to uh, order some more because it looks like I'm running out. But again, highly recommend the circle page flag set from Cloth and Paper. Now I do often get asked, what pen do I use to write on transparent sticky notes? And that is this pen over here from Cloth and Paper. It is the Unipin oil-based marking pen. Mine is in the 01 because I do prefer a finer tip. This is great. It does not smear. I believe you do have to wait, you know, a few seconds or whatnot, but absolutely love it and highly recommend this pen from Cloth and Paper. All right, moving on to the next item. And this is something that I picked up from Walmart and I have just been absolutely loving these tab sticky notes. So you have to do today and goals. And I've been loving using this, especially for uh, running errands. So just to show you how I would use this tab sticky note in my planner, this is an example of how I would use it to split up a weekend. So I've got the 29th and the 30th. So here I have a list of errands I needed to do for the 29th and then a list of the errands I needed to run for the 30th. I just love that um, they stick very, very well actually, which is really nice. So I love using them. Um, they've just been working great for me. Again, you do have today and goals as well, but I do find myself using the to-do one a lot more, but highly recommend. I believe they are from the, the brand Noted. So if you're in Walmart, check them out. You will not regret it. All right, moving on to the next item, which is also a sticky note. And it is the appointment sticky notes. I love using these, especially when, you know, I'm on the phone and I need to write down an appointment that I just booked. I just grab one of these sticky notes uh, you have, and they are from cloth and paper. So you've got date, time, where, who, and why. I just love the color. I think it just goes well with, you know, my aesthetic, my theme. And uh, like I said, I just basically, you know, if I book an appointment, let's say for June, then I would just stick that on my monthly insert so that when I'm planning for the month of June, I can see that I have an appointment booked and I am good to go. Absolutely love them. I am running out. Uh, I'm running really low on these. I think I they were sold out. They must have been sold out when I placed my last order, but you will love these uh, sticky notes. They stick on very, very well, and I cannot recommend them enough. All right, moving on to the next item, and that is uh, these mini dot stickers from Paper Panda. So I have mine in the dusty rose and in the nude uh, color. Now, the reason why I love these is because they are so versatile. The fact that they're so small and so tiny, uh, you can just use them, you know, in any insert uh, throughout your planner. So I'll show you how I use mine. So the first um, insert that I use them with is my project insert. So this is my project list. 
I've got uh, when I started the project and when I completed the project. So you can see over here that when I started it, I just you know put a dot and then I put another dot when I've completed the project. And the color that I'm using over here is the nude color. So that's one way that I use them. Another way that I use them is in my finance section. So if you go to my um, monthly insert, this is a month on two page from Rosie Papatri. I do have a discount code, which I'll link for you guys in the description box below. So the way that I use them here is at the top, you can see that I mark off, uh, you know, when I have payday for the following month so that, you know, I can keep up with budgeting and I know exactly when I get paid uh, for the next month. So that's the way I use them there. And the final way that I just actually started using them, if you go to my kids uh, sick days tracker. So we've been doing very well, but we did have a few sick days in April. So what I do is I use uh, one color for my son and one color for my daughter. And this insert, by the way, is from Peanuts Planner Co. I believe it's part of their 2022 bundle, uh, yearly bundle. So I'm using it to track when my kids are sick. So I'll put uh, the dot sticker depending on who is sick, the date, and the reason for why they missed school. So that is how I am using these tiny dot stickers. I cannot recommend them enough. Absolutely love them from Paper Panda. And the following item that I wanted to share with you guys is this um, leather agenda or the notebook cover from Rosie Papatri. I do have a video where I unbox this and I will link that video in the description box below for you guys if you'd like to see that. So this is, uh, like I said, in the pebbled leather, it's in black and uh, it does have a snap closure with the silver hardware. So it is in the A5 size, which means you can use an A5 notebook in here. You can also use a disc uh, agenda as well. So what I'm using in here is my A5 Stalogy notebook. And what I love about this, so if you have been with me for a while, you know that I have tried several notebook covers and they just did not work out for me, mainly for the fact that they did not have a closure. What I'm loving about this is the fact that I do have some pockets. So you've got a front pocket here, you have a secretarial pocket, you also have a slip pocket if you wanted to put some documents or anything like that in here. Some people like to put their notebook, uh, you know, the front cover and the back cover in each slip. You can do that. And then in the back, you also have another pocket with one, two, three, four, five credit card slots. And you also have a pocket here as well. So, you know, when it comes to the layout and the organization, I think it is great. You also have a pen loop where I have my Pilot Friction erasable pen and it just fits perfectly in there. So yeah, I mean, I've just been loving using this and it's just been great. Like I said, I can close it, carry it in my bag if need be. Um, so yeah, absolutely love it. Now my discount code unfortunately does not work um, on the leather agenda. I believe it is 150 uh, Canadian dollars, but it does go on sale. It was on sale not too long ago. So keep your eyes uh, open for that. And that is pretty much it, you guys. Those are my current favorites. So I hope that uh, you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, be sure to check me out on uh, Instagram. That's where I post how I use my planner supplies. So I'd love for you to join me there. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos, you guys. It really does mean a lot to me. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.